Hey guys, so today I am going to show you how I like to air dry my wash and go in one hour. So recently I posted a photo on Instagram talking about I dried my hair in one hour and everyone was like, how the heck did you do that? <laughs> so I am going to do this video today to show you guys what I like to do. It is a technique called plopping. So I'm pretty sure you guys would like to know what is plopping. Plopping is a term that has been around for a while in a curly hair community. All you are going to do is take an old t-shirt, which is very inexpensive by the way. This is Jovan's t-shirt and it isn't old, but I wash it anyway, so it's okay. And you are going to tie it on your hair and tie it around your hair after you have already put in your styling products of choice. And you are going to let the towel or t-shirt sit on your head for as long as you would like. I'm doing an hour, but you can do much longer. Now, we do not use regular towels because regular towels are not great on curly hair and it can make your hair dry, it can cause breakage, it can cause frizz, so no, we don't want to do that. The t-shirt or the microfiber towel is going to absorb just enough moisture, but it's also going to keep the curls in place, it's going to form the curls and allow your curls to clump together, and of course, it's going to dry your curls, and that's what we want anyway. So today, I am not going to do the t-shirt method, but I will have a link below in the description box so you guys can see how to do it with a few video examples if you would like to know how to do the t-shirt method. I am going to use the Diva towel. Now, I have two of these towels. I get my towels from Ulta. You can get it from Sephora or DivaCurl.com. But this towel is super absorbent. So I am going to use this because it's really soft. It does a great job with just clumping the curls together. It takes out the right amount of water and it leaves in the product that is needed in your hair. So I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of me talking. Let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm gonna step in the shower and I will see you guys when I get back. So I am out of the shower and we are getting ready to wrap my hair. Now this step is the easiest step of the process and it is also the most important step. My hair has the product already in it, so I have my leave-in and my gel, and you can use whatever product you would like to use. You do not have to use what I use. If you wanna see my wash and go video, please check it out. I'll have a card above, and I will have it below in the description box. So let's go ahead and put the microfiber towel on. Now, this towel is really cool because it has a latch or a hook. It's not really a latch, but it has a hook. So I'm going to use this hook right here to secure the towel, and this will keep the towel in place so it will not slide around in the drying process. So the first thing that I'm going to do is flip my hair over. You want your hair to be hanging over because it will be a lot easier for you to gather all of your hair and it will prevent you from touching your curls because we do not want to touch wet curls because touching wet curls will create frizz. So as you can see I have already flipped my hair over so now it is wrapped around my head like this. I made sure that everything is in here and I'm just going to take the towel and I am going to twist it around and I am going to gently twist it but it's going to be kind of firm at the same time because I want the water to come out and I'm just going to twist it like this and then I am going to flip it back and I'm going to turn around and I'm going to secure it. So as you can see, it is really simple and this look is basically the traditional towel look. It's not anything complicated and I am going to allow it to sit on my hair for one hour. Now I will say this before we go into the dry-in process. The time your hair dries is going to depend on the density of your hair. My hair can dry within an hour using this towel but you may have to do two hours or maybe your hair is finer and you can do 30 minutes. It is totally up to you, but I usually get about 95% dry, and you guys will see this when I get back. You have to do what works for you, and yeah, so let's do whatever you got to do. Go clean up, go have fun, go do your thing, and I'll be back in one hour. Oh, before I go, I'm gonna show you my clock, just so you know I'm not playing around with you guys. Okay, it is 9.57 right now. It is 9.57, almost 10 o'clock, so I will be back at 11 to show you guys the results of my hair. I will see you all in one hour. All right, so it is 11 o'clock. Let's go ahead and remove this towel. I just unhook it and I pull it down like this and put the towel down. I like to shake a little and I flip my hair over 
And here it is. I love it. And it is about 95% dry. It isn't 100% dry, but in about 10 minutes, it will be completely dry. It is slightly damp at the roots, but that is it. So my hair doesn't have much frizz at all. Um, it has a little bit, but it's not a lot. And it is soft, it still has definition, it has shine in it. I don't mind a little frizz. It smells good and I'm not walking around all day for a few hours, three to four hours with soaking wet hair here in Colorado. So it has been about 10 minutes and now my hair is starting to take form. It is getting bigger and it is pretty much dry right now. And again, this is first day here. It is still the morning time. I can go about my day, do what I have to do, and I have volume for first day hair. And I usually have to work so hard to get big first day hair. And I am just happy. So let me know if you guys have tried this and I think it's a really great way to speed up the drying time of your hair. I used to think it was only for a certain type of people, but I would suggest that you give it a shot regardless of your hair type and just try it out. You know, give yourself some time and see if it works and hopefully it does for you. But yeah, this is what I used. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.